So welcome to the Herbal Clinic MD. I'm glad you selected to choose us as your guide. And what I like to do is try to give people an outline of what are the three basic things that I think are the pillars of cannabis to get cannabis to work the best for us. The first thing to understand is that we all have within us something called the endocannabinoid system. That system is responsible for maintaining homeostasis and balance at a cell and a system level. So when that system is out of balance or out of whack for whatever reason, dis-ease or disease states come about. So what I did was I put together a list of things to do and not to do to make your endocannabinoid system run better. And that list is on our website, but I'm briefly gonna go over that. The first thing to understand is that our relationship of our omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids is very important. In the Western diet, we have a 10 to 1 ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. And we really need that ratio to be 1 to 1 to optimize the cannabinoids that we produce. Therefore, I've outlined certain food items that you want to favor and certain ones that you want to disfavor, such as walnuts being effective, sardines, avoiding canola oil, and other bad oils. Then we move into areas that I think are fun to get your cannabinoid system to work well, such as dark chocolate. Any chocolate with greater than 70% cocoa seems to enhance your cannabinoid system and prevent the metabolism and breakdown of your own cannabinoids. Also, we have food items that we can cook with that are very effective, such as oregano, cinnamon, cloves, black pepper. Other items such as curcumin, which comes from turmeric is effective. Maca root powder is also an effective way of helping your cannabinoid system, and so is echinacea. So if you look at the article, you'll figure out the things that I recommend. Then there are things that I recommend that you avoid, such as having water in plastic, heating up your food in plastic in a microwave, exposure to pesticides, and also use of alcohol. Alcohol destroys your endocannabinoid system. There's also activities that we recommend that we do, such as yoga, meditation, and Reiki. We actually offer Reiki here in our office. My wife is a Reiki master and is a great way of aligning your chakras and helping retain the balance that we all need. So pillar number one, fix your endocannabinoid system. And I want you to think of your endocannabinoid system as an engine. And I want you driving a Lamborghini, not a used vehicle. Now the second part of what I emphasize is utilization of CBD on a daily basis. CBD works very differently than THC. THC is the psychoactive component that when you take it, like a key, it turns a lock and lets a release of your neurotransmitters and you feel it in your head. CBD doesn't do that. What CBD does is it actually calls for a release of your own cannabinoids in your body and prevents the breakdown and metabolism of your cannabinoids. By doing that, it's a turbocharger to your engine. Now the third thing of what I recommend everyone do every evening is make a tea out of some cannabis flower. And let me explain how and why. What you do is you take a small pinch of the bud about the size of a chickpea, you put that in an empty teacup, add your favorite tea bag to it, and then steep it with the warm water. After five minutes, you drink it and make sure you drink the bud. Now, there's several things about this tea. The first thing is it doesn't make you high. It doesn't matter what strain of cannabis you use. Just don't microwave it and don't store it for later. But why do we want you to do this? I want you to extract off different components of the plant. The components are CBDA and THCA. The A stands for acid. These acid moieties are non-psychoactive but extremely medicinal. Recently, we're finding out that CBDA is the most anti-anxiety component. Well, both CBDA and THCA have an effect on decreasing or limiting the growth of cancer cells. They are also strongly anti-inflammatory. At the brain level, they are neuroprotective against Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and it's extremely gut healthy. So there's a lot of medicinal advantages that you get from using the tea. And if you incorporate my three ideas, you have a strong platform that you can build your cannabis program from. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this.